Hi guys, this is me Gayatri Prakash and welcome to my page. Hello, welcome to my page. So today, what I am going to discuss with you all, which means regarding OET speaking, in which I have chosen the topic name is colonoscopy. Okay, because which has been asked a very recently in our OET exam in the speaking session. Okay, so that's why I would like to make a video about colonoscopy OET speaking. Okay, so here the what is the role play card which they have given which means like here a 40 year old female who has been suffering with severe abdominal pain for the last few weeks most probably like two to three weeks she has been suffering with severe abdominal pain so she just came to the doctor and to consult the doctor about the treatment option and diagnostic procedure about abdominal pain thereby doctor suggested her to undergo for a colonoscopy next week and the patient is very nervous and anxious about the colonoscopy so thereby she is talking to the nurse a clinical clinic nurse about the procedure and also she wants to discuss with her about the procedure and also she wants to clarify her doubts regarding colonoscopy so this is our thing a role play card okay so here how we are going to tackle the situation so what are the questions the patient is asking being a nurse how you are going to answer to the question and also you are providing a psychological support and you are explaining and making the patient to understand about the colonoscopy procedure and its benefits okay so let's move on to the role play okay so now here patient is coming so she is coming and she is talking to you about this and we are introducing ourselves and then we are initiating the conversations because being a candidate we are the one have to initiate the conversation and we are the one head with the conversation and we are the one wind up the conversation okay so we are here we are now starting with our conversation okay hi my name is Gayatri Prakash and I am a registered nurse in this private clinic and may I know your name and I would like to know what seems to be the problem today to visit our clinic. Well, nurse, my name is Mary and I'm 40 years old. Actually, uh, I have been suffering with severe abdominal pain for the last few weeks. Thereby, I just discussed with the doctor about the condition as well as the treatment option. And he requested me to undergo for a colonoscopy next week. So I'm very much nervous and anxious about the procedure because I don't know what exactly going to happen during the procedure. And really I am never about what is colonoscopy and how exactly the procedure will take place. So I don't have much idea about it. That's why I came here to discuss with you about it and to know more about the colonoscopy. So now here we are initiating our conversation. Well, Mary, you are in the right place and I'm here to help you out. So don't get panic and I'm here to explain to you what is colonoscopy and how exactly the colonoscopy will take place. Okay, so let me explain to you first of all what is colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is a procedure where we are inserting a, a fiber optic tube into the rectum to visualize the entire colon. So thereby we'll be able to understand what exactly causes to your abdominal pain. So this is called it as colonoscopy. I hope I have clarified your doubt regarding colonoscopy. Am I right, Mary? She'll say, yes, you are right, nurse. And I have one more question regarding the scopy um, because I'm very much afraid that may procedure may cause pain to myself because I'm already suffering with abdominal pain and I cannot suffer with one more pain. And now your answer is here. Well, Mary, your concerns are really understandable to me. Uh, let me give you an explanation about how exactly the procedure will happen and the regarding the pain. Usually, Mary, the pain will, the procedure will happen under sedation. When we are inserting the tube, you will never avoid the insertion because you are you will be already sedated. So you won't unaware about the pain and you'll be relaxed. And we are doing the procedure because in that scopy, in the tip of the scopy, there will be a a small camera which is attached with that so when we are inserting the fibro optic tube insert inside your rectum we will able to visualize in the monitor what exactly the problem in your large intestine it's a colon so which is really helpful for us to know 
to to find out what is the reason for your abdominal pain okay so here we are doing this procedure under sedation so you are completely unaware about the pain while we are doing this procedure and you will be completely relaxed so please don't much worry about it all right so do you have anything else to clarify with me mary well nurse yeah because i heard that some of the people were saying to me this colonoscopy often will cause bleeding is it true nurse well mary it's really a good question let me explain to you more about it usually usually the colonoscopy won't cause much bleeding unless otherwise if the patient is kind of a fragile and if they have any perforation in their intestine and if their rectum is so narrow to insert the tube so in the situation some of the uh, patients used to develop the complications or side effects we can say uh, for the colonoscopy such as bleeding pain and sometimes they may have perforation but in your case this under won't happen because it will be doing by a well expertized doctor and who knows thoroughly about the procedure and also we have examined you before we will examine you before your procedure how exactly you are fit to the procedure or not so after that only we'll start to perform this procedure so you no need to much worried about it okay mary well nurse i would like to ask us ask you also about the uh, preparation so what should i do before colonoscopy is that any special preparations that i need to do it prior to the procedure well mary i'm really glad to explain to you because you are almost ready to okay for the procedure i guess right that's why you're asking about the preoperative preparations i'm here to help you out for that first of all mary uh, before the procedure at least uh, 6 to 12 hours we have to be in empty stomach because when we are sedating you you may have experience kind of a nausea vomiting aspiration so to prevent that we are advising usually patients to be in empty stomach at least 6 to 12 hours prior to the procedure secondly bowel wash because we are doing this procedure and to visualize your um, colon right so thereby to remove all the stool particles it is good for you to go for your bowel wash so thereby the doctor will prescribe you laxatives laxatives which will help you to empty your colon and that will help the doctor to visualize the co entire colon in a very clear way so these are the special preparations that we used to give for the instructions we used to give for the patients prior to the procedure apart from that if you are having if you are taking any uh, blood thinners for example like aspirin warfarin heparin kind of a blood thinners if you are taking 5 days prior to the procedure we advise the patient to stop taking of that tablets because this the tablets will make cause uh, perforation and bleeding while we are doing the procedure because if the fiber optic to hit with any of the part of the colon that may cause bleeding so in terms of to prevent that kind of bleedings we used to advise the patient to stop taking the blood thinners 5 days prior to the procedure so these are the special instructions that we used to give to the patient prior to the colonoscopy and to to make a colonoscopy in a better way okay and do you have any more uh, doubts mary to clarify with me uh well no nurse anyhow i got an overall knowledge regarding colonoscopy thank you for that well mary thank you for patient listening me and i hope i have cl- clarified all your doubts and don't worry about that because as i told you our doctors are very well exp- expertized persons to do this procedure and they have done so many procedures to so many patients and they all came out with the best results so in your case also it will happen the same and also most importantly we need to find out what is the exact reason for your abdominal pain because this colonoscopy surely will help you to find out the causes at the same time we can provide you effective treatment to treat your condition okay so think positive and don't get panic and be relaxed because your procedure is going to be happen next week only and until that you can relax for yourself and have a good day okay thank you so now you all got what exactly the colonoscopy and benefits and what is a pre, 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 uh, like uh, instructions that we need to give for the patient prior to this procedure and how they have to prepare themselves and then with the kind of things like how to eliminate their uh, fear and anxiety by giving a psychological support and the positive words and also about how exactly the procedure will takes place 
So these are the things we'll usually expect and uh, the patient will have the doubts about the things. Okay, so this is the way we are going to perform the colonoscopy role play. All right, I hope you all got a better understanding about the colonoscopy role play. So uh, we'll see the further uh, topics in my next videos and whomever wants to join for the classes, whomever wants to learn about OET speaking, listening, reading and writing. So you can contact us at any time. Our number is given in our description. So contact us and join for the class. Okay, so until then, bye. Hi, I'm Ashwati. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Recently, I got cleared my OET exam and it's first at time and I got the UK score. I really wanted to thank Gayatri ma'am for her classes, for motivating me, for helping me, for preparing me for the exam. All her classes was very convenient for me. It was according to my duty, timings and all. So I really wish Gayatri ma'am for all the best for her quality online academy. And thank you so much ma'am.